Hey guys, this is my daughter's uh, 2003 Honda Civic. And what I did was I got a uh, full size spare here. And uh, you know, there's a rim from uh, Salvage Yard. And so I'm putting this in here instead of that donut because uh, the last time they got a uh, flat tire, they ripped the side here on the uh, on a curb and it took a day to call the tire place, a day to get the tire in, the same brand and model, and a day to go out there and get it fixed. So that was basically almost three days to get the car fixed and it was just sitting here. So anyways, got a full size right now. In order to uh, have this tire work, you know, okay in this, uh, in this uh, trunk, there was the, uh, the mat that went over it. And of course, obviously this uh, tire is higher and the mat just sits on it and I didn't want something just sitting on the uh, on the tire so what I did was ta -da! here's the uh, here's the mat right here and what I did was I got I got a bunch I got a bunch of this uh, one by two and actually eight foot long little, I don't know what you call them, furring strips or something. They were really cheap. An eight foot board was only like $1.78. So not knowing exactly how I wanted to do this, I just started building. <laughs> I started with this on the side right here, a strip, and turned out that wasn't high enough. So I put another one on the bottom and that wasn't high enough. So, aha, this one here made it high enough. So that's basically, uh, what I did and then to make it stronger I uh, I took some uh, took uh, boards and went across here drilled the holes in and uh, looks like that so anyways it kind of looks just like this and th these boards are really light so I mean this thing is not heavy at all and uh, should be uh, should be strong it's real easy to put in and you just take it like this and uh, just slide over, it goes over the tire, just like that. It looks nice, right? Fits perfectly. And how do I know it's not on the tire? Well, I can reach up under here, and uh, let me show you. I can, I can just reach under here, and I can feel the tire. You know, it's kind of hard to do it, but I, I, can, I can feel the tire and this first board, and it's a good uh, maybe inch off of the tire. Okay, so that means there's got to be no pressure on that tire inside there. Is the carpet back in? Yes. Have we lost a little trunk space? Uh, yes, we have lost a little trunk space, but the idea is we'll be, be stuck on the highway somewhere if we're far from home and don't have a real sized tire to put on. And no, we won't be stuck because we've got a full size tire now. Anyways, this is kind of nice. I mean, actually, right now, because we've got this raised up thing, we've got little cubbies right here. You can just stick stuff in. And over here, look at that. Little cubby holes, they can put their things. And uh, this is the, uh, we've got the uh, jumper cables here, flashlight, extra quart of uh, pens oil if we need it. And uh, a little bit of power steering fluid if you run low. And a flashlight. Let's see, does the flashlight still work? Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. It looks a little weak, though. Probably get a new battery. It's been in there a while. All right, there we go. That's the Civic. Also, what I've done is, there was this little itty-bitty Honda... I don't know, jack. So what I did was I took and uh, I put in a better jack right here. This is actually one I think that came out of my 2008 uh, Chrysler van. Before I junked it, I took it out and it works great. I showed the girls how to use it. And what I also have in here, let me show you this, make it easier for them to change tires. I have a, uh, I've got a, uh, I've got a two foot uh, breaker bar and this is the uh, exact socket which is, uh, what size is this, Tecton, 19 millimeter. So this makes it real easy to get the, uh, the lugs off. 